Hi folks, this is Ed, and tonight I'm uh, going to dedicate this video blog to uh, looking at what is going on in Paris. I mentioned about uh, the drone strike in Syria that has supposedly killed Jihadi John, and uh, I'm going to take a minute or two in prayer uh, about the situation in Paris and, and, and the terroristic threat that faces the entire world. The numbers of dead in, in Paris uh, started out relatively small, continued to increase uh, up to uh, something in the nature of 24. From there it went to like 36 and after 36 the next number I saw was 100. Uh, after that, the latest um, being 118, I believe. Also word that uh, possibly five terrorists. Uh, I'm not sure that it said five terrorists dead or five terrorists involved, but uh, whatever the case is there, uh, it's just another case of Islamic militants who I want to just say that everybody wants to try to pussyfoot around and and say well they're just a small percentage well the small percentage so to speak if that's what you really believe I don't believe that myself but if you believe that that small percentage is declared war on the world. Uh, they are spreading like crazy. For those of you who think all of those uh, refugees that are leaving Syria, going into Europe, supposed to be bringing 10,000 or so into America, um, are just people who are fleeing from a war ravaged area, think again. Because there will be terrorists that are mixed in with them. That's how they operate. That's how they do things. Now, Jihadi John, uh, Jihadi John was um, a English-speaking leader within ISIS who has uh, been made famous or infamous, however you want to look at it, uh, in the videos that preceded beheadings of Americans, Brits, a Japanese person, uh, many, many people. Uh, supposedly, we took him out yesterday in Syria with a drone strike. Uh, if that's the case, that's a good thing. Because one less jihadi in the world is one less murdering scumbag in the world. Now, for those of you who believe that the number of militants it's just a small one. Um, explain that to the families of the 118 people in Paris. Explain that to the families of the people that we lost on September 11th. Explain that to the families of the men and women who gave their life in Iraq and Afghanistan. Islam is evil. I don't care what you say that Islam is a religion of peace. If you say that, you just don't know what you're talking about. If you say that there is only a small percentage of the ones that are radicals, then you don't know anything about the Quran. The Quran tells them that either people convert 
or you kill them. And that's just, that's just the way it is. So right now, I want to lift up those that have lost their lives today. The families of those people. Ones that may have survived and are going to be scarred for the rest of their lives. Father in heaven, I come to you just now. And I, I thank you for the opportunity to, to come before you, knowing that you are there with, with me as I do these video blogs, that you're there with me as I work on my ministry. And Father, tonight is a time of prayer, a time of mourning, a time of sadness. Better than a hundred people have senselessly and drastic or just no reason have lost their lives. The reason being that jihad against the world the caliphate that has been pronounced many times over and the evil that Islam is it is rearing its ugly head over and over and over Father I pray for comfort for those who have lost loved ones today I pray for peace within their lives and father i pray in the name of jesus and through your holy spirit that you would help us to be able to stop the spread of the evil islam there is only one god and that is the God of the Bible. You get the capital G, Father. Muhammad and all other gods get a small G because they are not sovereign like you are. Jesus Christ is our Savior, the one who walked this earth. Not just a good man, but a divine man. A heavenly man being who came to this earth, not Muhammad. Father, help people to wake up to what is going on and realize that the evil is lurking amongst us. And Father, help us to wake up before it's too late. I pray this all in the holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. I apologize for letting my phone, letting my camera slide sideways there while I was praying. Uh, I guess you can see my hat here. I took it off during prayer. Uh, it says, Vets, don't forget. And we won't forget the men and women who gave their lives fighting jihad. Take care, folks. Learn what, we're, learn what we're up against. Figure out who the enemy is. And then go out and do the right thing. God bless.